Jacob Chansley, the QAnon shaman, plans to run in Arizona's 8th Congressional District. His Republican opponents will be multiple MAGA figures. I fully expect them to demolish him. I also expect that this is going to be more common in 2024 as J6ers realize their support is small and if anything shrinking even in the MAGA sphere and they're going to try to get some J6 congressmen. Now Ohio Republicans in my opinion are also giving us a glimpse into 2024 nationwide. Ohio was one of many states where abortion was on the ballot in some form and the people supported protecting women's rights to health care. Women's having rights caused devastation to Ohio Republicans, and they immediately got worried, what's next? Trans people might want rights? So they're starting to put forward bills such as banning dr drag shows, uh, bathroom bills being banned, bans on trans healthcare. Not only that, Republicans have decided to double down on the losing issue of abortion. Well, how are they gonna do that when they just lost in an election? Their plan is to strip the ability for judges to make rulings overturning Ohio's abortion laws, which now violate the state constitution due to the election. Basically, they're trying to find a back way to overturn the election results, so now the only way to actually protect women's rights in Ohio would be to get a majority Democrat. Why they think that's going to help them? I don't know. But I fully expect things like this to become more common as conservatives are worried about losing elections in 2024. And looking at the way the nation is right now, I assume they're going to lose quite a few elections, even with that Trump bump. If conservatives become convinced they cannot win democratically, they will not abandon conservatism. They will reject democracy. That's a quote by David Frum, which I think is just very, very relevant. Think of all the convoys and their rage about things like equality and democracy. You show that to the average person and they're going to call you crazy. But the thing is, people in the convoys did understand. They are in a losing minority, shrinking as they die off. And as they die off, the extremism is causing them to have more outbursts, which is causing more people to turn out against them. We saw this in the 2023 election where the extremism pushes have gotten too far for quite a few people, and there were some surprising results. And I think going into 2024, I think what happens in Ohio is going to cause repercussions for Republicans. If Ohio Republicans do do things like this to stop the new constitutional amendment, they are telling people nationwide, if you want to protect women's health care, you can't just do it in your state constitution. You need to make sure that Republicans do not ever have control of your state again. It makes it so these single issue voters, because there were voters in Ohio who voted conservative, but also voted to protect abortion rights. They voted conservative on other issues. Those people are now being told that if you actually care about abortion rights, you can't vote R again. Is that a winning strategy long term? No. But I don't think they're thinking long term. I think they're thinking about keeping power as long as they can and doing as much damage as they can on the way out.